In the sight of many, the cross has become an identifying symbol of Christianity. But why doesn't the Church of Christ use it? Or should we? The Bible, the basis of our faith in the Church of Christ, which answers questions about proper worship, the right relationship with God, and most importantly, salvation. That's in the Bible. I'm Bob Pauline. Welcome to the program, That's in the Bible. We received an email from a viewer, and she asked the following. Why doesn't the Church of Christ use the sign of the cross? Thank you very much, Ivy, for your email question, and thank you also for the opportunity to give a biblical answer. Let's frame our topic of discussion around these initial questions in order to give a clear and thorough answer. Number one, what is the sign of the cross? Number two, what does the sign of the cross actually mean or signify? And number three, how does the Bible describe that mark or sign? So before we turn to the Holy Scriptures for the Bible's response, uh, Ivy, to your question, for the sake of our viewers and of those of other Christian professing religions that, well, may not know what's really being referred to as the sign of the cross, let's take a look at a couple of video clips that show what is the sign of the cross that's being done by the Roman Catholic Church. Take a look. We begin with what is perhaps our earliest personal religious memory and practice, the sign of the cross. As often as we make the sign of the cross, repeating at the same time these words, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. So we can see that the sign of the cross is a sign that the members of the Catholic Church have made for themselves, and we can see it everywhere in their religion. We can see the cross on their worship buildings. We can see the cross on their rosaries, which they always use when they pray, right? We can see also the cross in so many places, and it's become such a prevalent visual symbol, and everyone is convinced, of course, that it's a good symbol. What have they themselves said, in fact, however, about the importance of that sign that the Catholic authorities have branded or required their believers to use. Well, we have here their book, and it's entitled The Externals of the uh, Catholic Church. And here on uh, page 218, let's take a look at what they have written about uh, the cross. The ordinary method of making the sign of the cross is that which every Catholic learns in early childhood— the putting of the right hand to the forehead. So, dear friends, what they've written here in their book, then, is that it's a sign that starts by putting one's right hand to the forehead. And take note, the use of the left hand, that's wrong. That would be incorrect. That would not be the proper procedure. Bringing the right hand to the forehead is the method they teach to begin the sign of the cross. And because, you know, they're very particular on how to make the sign of the cross, what does the sign of the cross mean or signify for them? And how valuable is the sign of the cross to Catholics? You know, in another book, this one, this one is entitled 1,000 Questions and Answers on Catholicism, page 240, this is stated. What is the significance of the sign of the cross? The sign of the cross is an inseparable symbol of the Catholic faith. Also, they claim that the sign of the cross, it's an inseparable symbol. And it's what identifies them as a Roman Catholic. It's their symbol. It's their sign. And because of this, just how often is the sign of the cross made or performed? 
in another one of their books. This one is entitled My Catholic Faith, and it's written by uh, the authoritative writer of the Catholic Church, uh, the Bishop Louis Laravour Morrow. And he writes here on page 392 in his book. It's very interesting uh, what he wrote. We usually begin and end our prayers with the sign of the cross. Nothing in the church is begun, carried out, or completed without the sign of the cross. It is used in innumerable blessings and ceremonials of the church. At Mass alone, it is used 51 times. Here, dear friends, we can learn how important it is to the Catholic Church. In fact, they use it 51 times in the Mass alone. And in the Mass, well, that's their worship gathering. It's used, in, as they said here, in the beginning of their prayers, at the end of their prayers, for a total, as we cited there, 51 times. And in all the other ceremonies that they hold as well. So, according to Catholic authorities, is the sign of the cross a symbol for just anyone and everyone. In fact, if we'll go back to that, and, and, and even on the same page, page 392, it, it says, the sign of the cross is the most common way of confessing our faith. By it, we can know Catholics from non-Catholics. So clearly, that's a sign founded and made inside the Catholic Church and as they stated here, for what purpose? To brand or to identify or to mark a Catholic from a non-Catholic. For clarification, um, the word Catholic itself means universal or extending all over the world. So the cross then is to mark or to identify themselves as Catholics. So now that we know what the sign of the cross is, what it means, how it is made, and who it is for, let's now turn to the Holy Scriptures, the Bible, and find out how this sign or mark is described. How does the Bible describe this mark or sign? And in fact, dear friends, does the Bible make any mention of a sign that would identify or mark those in a Catholic or in universal church? We turn to Revelation chapter 13. Verse uh, 16, wherein it says this. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. The Bible does mention then a sign or a mark given to a multitude of people. And where is this mark? Where is this mark? It is said that it's on their right hand or on their foreheads. Now, you know, we've heard these arguments. Some may argue that, well, you know, the sign of the cross of the Catholic Church, it's just a hand gesture, they might say, which starts by putting, yes, the right hand to the forehead. It's not a mark that is visually seen on the forehead or on the hand. But dear friends, is that true? The cross is not a mark? Is the sign of the cross ever, at, at any point in time, a visual mark placed on their forehead? Of course it is. Every year we're able to visually see Catholics branded with or receiving a mark of the cross on their foreheads as they celebrate what they call Ash Wednesday, which all Catholics are encouraged to do. So... What does the Bible say about those who have received this sign or mark? What awaits people who possess or brand themselves with this sign of the cross on their forehead or on their hand, or both for that matter? Is it a good sign? Should we all be making that sign of the cross? We turn again back to the Holy Scriptures for the answer of the Bible, and we turn to the book of Revelation, chapter 14, Revelation 14, verse 9, 10, and 11. Let's find out. Good sign or not a good sign? Then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives his mark 
on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast and his image, and whoever receives the mark of his name. So dear friends, is it a good sign or not? Definitely not. The Bible describes what's going to happen to those who have received this mark on their forehead or on their hand. Well, what will happen to them? As we have read, they have no rest day or night. Why no rest ever? What's the horrible fate that awaits them? This is also as we read here, it will be tormented with fire and brimstone and the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. Who will this happen to? As we read, whoever receives the mark of his name. Therefore, dear friends, the sign of the cross, it's not the sign from God. It's not mentioned or taught by Christ's apostles anywhere in the Bible. We should understand Back, back in, those, in the, the, that first century, they had capital punishment back then, and the cross was the instrument that was used to murder our Lord Jesus Christ. Ironically, a multitude of people have been taught and believed that the cross is a holy symbol. Now we know that it's, it is a sign identifying someone that has been deceived by the ultimate deceiver the devil, Satan, and he's branding them to be tormented in the lake of fire. So now that we have received a better understanding of this topic, let's review so we can finally give a clear answer to the question of Ivy when she asked, why doesn't the Church of Christ use the sign of the cross? Number one, what's the sign of the cross? Well, we've learned that it's a mark or gesture that Catholics do during Mass and ceremonies. It involves the right hand and the forehead. Number two, what does the sign of the cross mean or signify? We also learned that the sign of the cross is an inseparable symbol of the Catholic faith and is used to identify mark or no Catholics from non-Catholics. Now number three, how does the Bible describe that mark or sign? It's a good sign, bad sign. The Bible says it's a sign that marks those who have been deceived into a belief that leads them to everlasting torment with fire and brimstone. So to answer Ivy's question, why doesn't the Church of Christ use the sign of the cross? Well, members of the Church of Christ do not use the sign of the cross because... We're not Catholic, or Protestant for that matter, and we do not want to have the mark of those that will be tormented forever and ever. We'll not use that mark. To our friends and family who may be Catholic watching this program, in no way do we share these truths to offend or hurt your feelings in any way. In fact, our intention is the extreme opposite of that. We love you, we love you so much we cannot, we cannot bear even imagining anything bad happening to you. That's why we bring to you the, the truth. Even, even if you will say that, that hurts. It's, it's because we bring it to you because that's in the Bible. We'd like to, you to continue learning about the Galatian Christo, the Church of Christ. To do so, please visit us online and browse the different topics. Set up an appointment to meet with a minister of the gospel. Visit the congregation of the Church of Christ that's nearest to you. And if you have any questions about the Bible or salvation, you can also email them to us. I'm Bob Pulley. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time right here on That's 
in the Bible. 